In this video, I'm going to review again Source Module, one of my favorite absolute tools for online arbitrage, and I'm going to go in detail through all the filters, every single setting that I have on Source Module myself for my online arbitrage business, so you can copy exactly what I'm doing. I highly, highly recommend you get Source Module. Two of my favorite things that Source Module has is one, they don't make you wait days like other tools out there that you gotta scan and wait for the tool to actually scan. No, Source Module will automatically give you results. And even better, with the filters that it has, you can filter out Amazon for the results and you can save a lot of your time. And number two is their new Google Chrome extension is absolutely mind blowing. It is a life changer in terms of online arbitrage. It will save you a ton of time. It will allow you to scan sites that they don't have on their database and you can manually go and tag the website. I'm gonna show you how to do that too. Get results from a very lucrative retailer that otherwise you wouldn't have had access to in the past. So let's jump right in. So one of the first things that you wanna do is link your Amazon seller central account to source module they actually require you to link it you cannot use the tool without linking it so once you're linked which is extremely easy by the way to do then you can move on to the actual settings to link your account go to link to amazon and then you're going to be taken through a menu and you're going to link your account once you're done that go to global filters and here are the settings that i personally have the 3.19 just leave it as is it's a default in case the rare, rare case that Amazon doesn't have information on a certain item on the referral fee and the FBA fee, then Source Module will automatically fill that in for you. So just leave it as is. You probably won't ever have to use that. The only real setting that I have is a 30 cents per pound cheap inbound shipping. And this is pretty much what you pay when you do a big shipment. No, when you do a small shipment. Most of my shipments are very big. And the reason for that is because you save more money when you do a big shipment. So put it at 30 cents, 40 cents if you want to be more conservative. And then if you are using a prep center, you can also put that here. Let's say your prep center costs you $2, you would put that in there. And then you would go ahead and save the, save the settings right here, save the global filters. Another cool thing that SourceMail has is the supplier price adjustments. Basically, if you know that a certain retailer has discounts, ongoing discounts that never ever go away. For example, if you go to Target, now I would personally put that I have 5% cash back. But why? Because I always use the Target Red Card that always gives me 5% cash back no matter what. Another good example is Walgreens. Walgreens offers a permanent 10% discount via a code, like for example, WAG10 is right now. Sometimes they change it, but you can go ahead and put a 10% discount and then change it in the future if they raise their discount. Again, this will be your presets for future scans. Another one that is constantly having discounts is Vitacost. Vitacost usually has either a 10% or a 20% discount, depending this the cycle. And you can change this as you see fit. I think you will go ahead and save it. So next time you run a search, this will be automatically applied without you having to forget about it. Now, if you go to start a search, Source Module will let you search via a category, a category, a retailer, wholesale, or with the Chrome extension. You have four different ways of searching while you're doing online arbitrage and being assisted with this magnificent tool. My two favorite ones is by retailer and by the Chrome extension. So if you go by retailer, you can actually favorite the ones that you usually search. For example, Walmart or Bonsai Nobles or Vitacos you favorite that. And so next time you just go to your favorites and you can rerun your search and you can run multiple searches at once. And this is not like other tools to run a search is extremely user friendly. The only real thing that you need to do is select the retailer, for example, Target and Barnes and Nobles and Walmart and let's say Walgreens. And again, it gives you an opportunity here to adjust the tax and the discounts before you search. And again, here you would uh, put either a cashback, like your credit card cashback, let's say you get 2% back, or if the retailer has certain rewards and you want to include, or if they're having certain site level discounts, and there you can put them in here. Once you put them in here, the tool, 
source module will factor that in in their calculation and then you save it and then you click right here search selected and the searches will begin it, it first will check one and then the other ones will go in queue but this is extremely fast compared to other tools out there so we're gonna let this search for now and we'll come back to it later in the meantime i want to show you the category search which is right here if you go here and again you can search by category and you can start choosing some of your favorite categories like pets or kitchen and dining or toys and then you put search selected and again we'll add it to the queue right here if you're doing wholesale source module also has a tool to upload your CSV file and you can also use source module to search through the file through tens of thousands of different products and it will match them to their corresponding ASINs on Amazon and it will tell you which ones are profitable and which ones are not. A good example on where to get a CSV file is for example go to a wholesale supplier like Frontier Co-op you probably heard me talking about them in my ungating groceries video. This is a, a spectacular wholesale supplier. You go there and then you search for feed or data feed. And then here you see at the bottom, once you're logged in at the bottom of their website, it says catalogs and data feeds right here. And once you go in there, you can just download an Excel file, a wholesale category catalog for that specific month for example right now we're in December you will get the entire feed of catalog listing for the month of December once you have that you would upload that CSV file here onto the wholesale section of the tool and then source module will start making its magic happen so once your searches are in progress you can go here under results and you can actually search by the specific search that you were looking for retailer category wholesale or chrome extension and within that if you go here under this drop down menu you can actually select the specific retailer that you want right now nothing shows up because it's still loading the searches now i'm going to go through my specific filter that i use so here is my filter i'm going to explain exactly each part of the filter i want to base i want to base my profit on the last 30 day average price the last 30 day average price you can also choose an extended period of time either 60 days or 90 days but I like getting as many results as possible and then manually going through them. The reason for that is I don't want to get too nitpicky on my filters because then I would be missing out on good opportunities. I want at least a 20% ROI and at least a $3 profit. And again, this is very easy to move up or move down and it will filter in real time from the results that source module delivered to you it will filter out it will include or exclude products from your results based on these filters I want the sales rank to be within the the top 5% bestseller ranking BSR some people prefer even 2% or 1% but again I don't want to narrow myself down too much that I might be missing out on some profitable opportunities but if you value your time even more and you don't mind missing out some opportunities and you just want very specific results then you can adjust all of this even tighter the match accuracy what this is is either high or low the lowest you go the more errors you're going to have maybe possible mismatches the higher you go then source module might probably give you results that are an exact UPC match for example or are very highly accurate the downside to that is that again you might miss out on opportunities so I like to keep this right in the middle right in the middle it's a it's a good balance I take this the high duplicates basically what it is is source module will grab the results from that specific retailer that you scan for example Walmart and they will provide you additional results from additional retailers that match that listing on Amazon if they see that they are also profitable so they will also give you results from Walmart or Target but I want to get my searches very specific to that retailer so for now 
I chose to hide the duplicate. I only want to see products that are currently in stock with the supplier. And for that, I pick hide out of stock. I do not want to compete with Amazon. So if Amazon is on the listing too, I want to hide it from my results. So hide if Amazon also sells. I want at least two sellers to be on the listing. So the minimum amount of sellers, I want it to be at least two. And the reason for that is, as you probably know, the lower the amount of sellers, the higher the risk that the brand is controlling the listing. And it could be a potential IP complaint brand. If they see a new seller, that is unauthorized to sell on their listing, they might reach out to Amazon and say, no, 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 I wanna get that seller out of my listing. And that's all kinds of troubles for you. So to avoid all that, I want at least a certain level of competition already in that listing. And lastly, I wanna hide hazmat, dangerous goods. I Some people make a fortune out of selling dangerous goods like perfumes and battery operated items, but me personally, it's a huge hassle because I use a prep center and the prep center charges me a lot of money to prep hazmat items. So I completely avoid it. But if you like that, then you might uncheck it, but I keep it checked. So as you see, now we are starting to get some really cool results. And the next thing that we want to do is go one by one to see if they are a good match for us. By the way, I forgot to let you know that you should check out hide out of stock right here hide out of stock hide out of stock basically if you leave this unchecked it will show you results where the item is no longer available to sell on amazon and the reason for that is there are no neither amazon themselves or no third-party sellers have that currently in stock. So the product is not available for sale until a seller comes in on the listing so this could actually be a great opportunity if you wanna be on those listings that there is zero competition and you will be the only one selling, then you would leave this unchecked because you want to, you wanna show those listings where the product is not available. And then Source Mogul will show it to you with an orange bar, like the ones that you see here. But if you are not interested in that and you only wanna see items that there are some sellers already selling which is my preference then you would leave that check so look i'm only i'm only have i only have scanned one retailer which is target and already on the second result i found a good match and I'll, I'll show you what it is so it's this brown belt and what i do always with target i go to the specifications and i check the upc i copy that and i make sure that it actually matches and it does match the listing and it's a size 44, it's a size 44 right here as well, selling for $16.99. Seller Amp is telling me that uh, as long as it's under $17.05, it's gonna be profitable. What we would need to do is check that the variation, this listing has a lot of variations, actually has enough sales volume to be interesting. So obviously we will need to do a deeper analysis of this product, but as it stands, 1699 multiplied by 0.95 because of the 5% cashback gives me a $4.32 profit if the sales volume is good for this variation, which I will check later. Now look, this one would be uh, very profitable. Another result here, it's this yellow Hydra Peak, but the only problem is that IP alert, which by the way, uh, if you want a discount, check out my video description to get a $30 off discount on that. I'm also gonna plug it in right here so you can take advantage of that $30 discount for the best IP alert software. It basically pops up this IP alert message every time that you are at risk of potentially selling an IP complaint brand, which is the case here with Hydra Peak. But if this wasn't an IP alert brand, $27.95 multiplied by 0.95, a $9.26 profit just like that, very, very easily done. And I hope you are getting a gist of how easy and how quick and how efficient this tool is making you profit every single day. Because every day, it takes a long time to manually go through all the retailers and find profitable products yourself. But if you use a robust software tool like SourceMogul, 
then it will really, really speed up your work. In any case, I hope you really enjoyed this video. You might also want to check my online arbitrage leads list, which I'm going to plug in here. I'm also going to show you a link in the video description. Basically what that is, is I spend six hours every single morning sourcing for online arbitrage leads that you can access pretty much every single day to save you time. So in addition to source module and other tools for your business, you might want to give that a try. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel as usual. And I'm going to leave you with this other video right here, which I think you're going to like a lot. In the meantime, keep up the great work.